broadly speaking, there are three causes of acute kidney injury. The first is pre-renal injury caused by reduced renal perfusion. The second is intrarenal injury, which can be glomerular or tubulo interstitial. And the third is post-renal injury, which can be caused by anatomical urinary tract obstruction or tubular obstruction. Let's look at each mechanism of injury in a little bit more detail, starting with pre-renal failure. Pre-renal failure is caused by reduced renal perfusion. This can be due to reduced cardiac output, which may occur with or without a reduction of blood pressure, commonly due to hemorrhage, dehydration, heart failure or sepsis. There can be localised renal arterial obstruction, for instance, in renal artery stenosis due to atheromatous disease commonly, renal artery embolism, for instance, in patients with atrial fibrillation, or due to surgery, such as aortic uh, bifurcation grafts. Renal hemodynamics can be altered by drugs, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin II receptor blockers. Renal hemodynamics can also be altered by sepsis or hepatorenal syndrome and can also be affected by abdominal compartment syndrome. Intrarenal failure can be divided into glomerular disorders or tubulo interstitial disorders. Glomerular disorders include glomerulonephritis, the thrombotic microangiopathies such as hemolytic uremic syndrome and thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura and also atheroembolic disease. Tubulo interstitial disorders include uh, tubular injury which is commonly due to an ischemic insult. Uh, it can also be caused by nephrotoxins such as aminoglycoside antibiotics and interstitial nephritis uh, commonly caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs but also uh, can be caused by an allergic type reaction. Post-renal failure is caused by urinary tract obstruction. This can be at an anatomical level with obstruction at, for instance, the bladder outlet due to prostate disease, whether benign or malignant, uh, or pelvic tumours and also it can be due to ureteric obstruction by stones or tumour or stricture. Tubular obstruction can be caused uh, by crystals, uh, for instance calcium oxalate during ethylene glycol poisoning, uh, some drugs such as methotrexate and also uh, by proteins, for instance in patients with myeloma who have a myeloma cast nephropathy.